Could you tell me your name? Jacob Dennis. Okay, where are you from? From uh, Blacksburg, Virginia. Okay, you're with Virginia Tech? That's correct. Professor up there? Uh, I'm actually just a faculty at Tech, uh, so I'm just helping out. Okay. Uh, I'm the writer this year. Uh, the rest of the team is unfortunately not here, so. Okay, did you ride this in from Virginia? Uh, no, we trailered this one in in uh, Richard Zero, so. Okay. What is this bike underneath? What, what did so it start it's a out as? 2014 uh, Zero S. Um, which has an 11 kilowatt pack. All right. Um, so, what kind of watt hours per mile was does that bike get stopped? So, I'd have to do some calculations for the watt hours per mile. Uh, I know that if I cook it at 70 miles an hour uh, stock, I'll get 60 miles out of the uh, battery, um, which is probably high on the watt hours. Okay. Water, water, water mile. okay, but so now with this body work, you're you're, you're, you're hit, uh, with this. Uh, we're around 100 watt hours or watt watts per mile. I think. Okay. So. So and then your range at, with the body work. Uh, it improved? should be around 100, 120, depends on what kind of riding we're doing. So you're almost doubling your range. You think with this body work? Um, so around town, like mixed use kind of riding, um, you can get. 70 to 80 on the battery stock. But once you just, if you're just on the highway, you're just doing highway riding, that just significantly drops your uh, overall range. Really okay. quick. So that's why I say like, you know, around town, you know, you can, you can still get like a hundred or so. Um, uh, and if you put this stuff on here, you can increase your highway stuff, reduce your yeah. overall drag. Okay. And make at least more efficient at those speeds because really low speed stuff you're not going to see you know just punching around town at 25. You know, see this just really take care of that. Okay. So, so you have some gigantic uh, side bags on there. Yeah. What, why, why are those? I mean, what's in there? What's what's going on? So the gigantic side bags here. Uh, the whole point of the competition is to carry a useful load. Craig Bender said you know useful load is four bags of groceries. Uh, you know, originally he had four bags of like groceries this big, so we were like, all right, well, let's just make make it that big. Um, and you know, so it kind of depends on who who you ask, have what size bags you have. So uh, okay. maybe next year we might go a little bit smaller, either take them in or put them on the top and kind of stretch this uh, the rear end out, so that'll at least help it uh, maintain a better flow around the rider in the bike. Awesome. So you got a big charger there. Is that stock? No, this is not stock. Uh, this is an Elcon on loan from Hollywood Electrics. What um, does that do for your charge time? So instead of charging at, I think it's like 1.5 um, kilowatt hour charge time, this now is like a three, uh, a two point five kilowatt hour charge. So in total now I can actually charge at like 3,500. Okay, so you're more than uh, twice as fast. Yeah, so that makes it quite a bit nicer if you have to stop somewhere and actually charge. Nice. <laughs> so uh, there's, you got a little windscreen there. Are you tucked in when you're riding or you just sit upright? Uh, so the frame geometry of this nice standard bike doesn't really allow me to tuck in very well. Uh, so you're sitting upright. So I'm Does it, sitting upright. Do you this get wind in deflecting. your face? No, this is deflecting at least enough of it. So that's you know roughly about about right there. So that's okay. Um, and you know, like I mentioned, I think next year the plan will be hopefully do something that's a little bit longer, get it a little bit lower, so we'll at least be able to tuck in and be more efficient. Cool. Uh, bike handle okay? Yeah, bike handle handles fine. I mean, you know, even with this uh, this fairing up front. Um, and the saddlebag things and stuff, uh, you would think that the crosswinds are, would be really bad. It's not that bad. Um, in, in previous years we had like a turret up here uh, with the fairing. That was noticeably worse, so that's why it's not on here. Any, uh, any idea of top speed with and without the bodywork, or is that not something you really want to do? Um, so, depending on which mode you're in, uh, this Zero has a couple different modes you can operate in. Uh, well, three. Um, 
You have an eco mode, which is what we're running right now. Uh, it's top speed to 70. Just that's all it will allow you to actually give the motor. Uh, if you hit it over to sport mode, I think it'll hit like 80 to 90. 95. 95, okay. And probably faster with the fairing. Okay. I just, I don't know. I'm just wondering about high speed stability. Have you you've noticed any issues with all the body work? No. Okay. Any concerns with that? Uh, no, not right now. I mean, with the way this, this is mounted up right, right now, it's, it's really uh, pretty originally mounted, so it's not moving around on me, so yeah. Well, thank you very much. Yeah.